Hello there. If you like truth, you'll like it here. Welcome. Dear Martel Holt's mistress and baby mama, full disclosure, today is Valentine's Day, and initially I was going to say to you, on this day of love, let me show you none. But I've changed my mind and have decided to say, instead, on this day of love, let me show you some, some love that is, because even though I have drugged you through the mud, I don't actually hate you. I dislike you, but that's because you're dislikable. I don't respect you, but that's because you aren't a respectable person. I have talked about the way you look, and that's because you're incredibly unattractive to me. It might be because your insides are so ugly that they bleed onto your outsides, or it might be because you are just strange looking to me, period but I'm almost sure I wouldn't see you as strange looking if you weren't also so strange acting. After all, I'm a Christian woman, so even if I thought you were ugly as homemade sin, I'd still find something to compliment. But that's only if I respected you, and I've already told you that I don't, which is why you notice I never say your name. As I said, I don't hate you. I don't actually feel anything for you. Well, other than pity, I think if you had a moral compass as a result of perhaps a relationship with God, life would have been different for you, or at least it could have been. I think you were able to be used by the devil because you are comprised of not good stuff. God can help you with that, but I don't think you'll let him. So this is where you are. This is what you get. Now let me tell you something, and I'm going to have to make this quick. Because when I get done with you, I'm about to go in here and enjoy my time with my husband. I know you think every woman that thinks you're trifling and that your behavior is despicable is simply mad that she's been cheated on. But let me assure you, that's not my case, nor my situation. I've actually never been cheated on. And I've been happily married for longer than you've been laying up under Martel. And my husband likes it here. I know you think all men, married or otherwise, want you or want what you represent an easy and available opening a no fuss no muss on the ready entry any orifice available but some have standards and not only wouldn't touch you with a 127 foot pole nor their own they would likely offer you some spare change if they saw you out and about you know to help assist out because you look act and dress like you need it you see you are not a real man's cup of tea you are something a real man would feel dirty rolling around with, like he'd need a shower and a shot immediately after entertaining you, in my opinion. Now, I've told you this is not how I like to get down. I don't prefer to go low. I like to uplift, though I am always going to tell the truth. And the truth is, the damage you have caused is revolting and long-lasting. So you'll have to excuse me for getting out of character with you from time to time. I'll make you a deal. Once you develop some character, I'll stop getting out of mind to tell you about yourself, or rather, to tell you what somebody who loved you should have been telling you a long time ago. How's that sound? That sound like a plan? We got a deal? Great. Okay, now let me speak to you from the heart. I feel for your son. Here is a little black boy who is already embroiled in sadness, brokenness, and controversy as if he won't already have hurdles to overcome, just by the nature of his skin color, just by the nature of him being black in America. But you've gone and made his journey tougher by creating him in chaos and continuing in the madness even after you realized it was a mistake. You have realized that by now, right? You could have decided to get off the ride. You could have been a stupid woman before having him. But like so many mothers, you could have grown up once you had him and realized that you and he and your daughter, for that matter, deserved better. But you didn't. You doubled down, buckled up, and shifted into gear in preparation for more madness, chaos, brokenness, and confusion. What mother does that? Sometimes we will accept less than what we deserve for ourselves. But we draw the line at that for our children. We want them to have the world but you don't seem to want that for yours. How is that possible? Seeing how you are, how you operate, inadvertently tells the world so much about your own mother. 
we get a glimpse into what she must have been like to raise a bottom barrel woman who accepts trash for herself and even more trash for her children, in my opinion. I can actually imagine what it must have been like to grow up in your household. That two-parent one you were so confused about? It must have been run by a woman with very little value and very little love for you or herself. After all, what woman would want this for her child? The child I'm talking about now is you, because you're someone's child. So what woman wouldn't be calling you up, texting you, on your front porch, at your back door, heck, hiding in your attic, waiting to hop down and talk some sense into you, chomping at the bit to tell you that you look and sound crazy online ranting and raving about some woman's discarded husband who at various times referred to you as a peasant and 15% while telling the world that your claim to fame was your ability to go down on him. Aren't you tired of going down on him? I'm not talking about that way. I'm talking about the fact that you've been going down since you met him. Where's your career, your house, your car, your savings and retirement accounts? I'll bet you at least had some of those things before you allowed another woman's piece of trash husband into your life. Where's your peace, your rest, your solace in times of trouble? I know it isn't your baby daddy or even anywhere around him because all he seems to bring you is turmoil and turbulence. You're getting older. Where's your security? I wish you had made that little boy with a man of your own. A man that, because he belonged to you and you alone, would be at the home y'all shared, watching and loving on y'all's kid or kids. I wish you'd made this little boy with someone who would get off from work, then take the little guy out back to play a little t-ball before coming in to wash up and have dinner. Together. I wish you'd made this little boy with a man that loved you and so would love him too. A man that wouldn't use your son for a check or storyline or be willing to dump him for even the mere chance to get his wife back. Remember when your baby daddy told his wife that he'd leave Huntsville and you and your kid if she would agree to take him back? I wish your son never had to know such a man, let alone call him dad. I wish you'd given this boy, your little boy, a fair shot at a balanced and loving life instead of having him brought up on and around strife. Strife that is of your own making. I wish he would have been born as a young prince to a black king who loved his queen and would put her first. Instead, he was born to you. A worn out, unloved, barely tolerated, used and abused woman with no discernible talents and seemingly no future beyond the one her overextended baby daddy throws to her, like crumbs, like leftover bread to a bird. But you would have had to love you first. And since you don't, and since... More than likely, that's because no one showed you how, here we are. Those things I wish for you are just that, wishes. Because you didn't know how to love yourself or respect yourself and thus generate that respect in return. So, I'm going to help you. I'm going to do for you what your mom should have done a long time ago. On this Valentine's Day, I'm going to show you how to love yourself. Now, happy Valentine's Day. Cop a squat. Get comfy and listen up. And while you're listening, go and show some love to your babies. And don't forget to show some love to yourself. That's where it should have started from the get-go. If you had been showing love to yourself, you would have never taken up with a married man not worth the oil across his greasy forehead, nor the dirt under his fingernails, or the salt on the back of his funky neck. If you're wondering what self-love looks like, because obviously nobody told you, nor did they demonstrate it, then check out my next video entitled How to Show Yourself Some Love on Valentine's Day. It's never too late, by the way. All right, y'all. That's it, and that's all. Hello there. If you like truth, you'll like it here. Welcome. If you don't, or if you believe in groupthink, or bullying others into believing the popular opinion, then this isn't the place for you. So go ahead and just cancel me now. On this channel, we don't discuss my truth or your truth. We discuss the truth and no topic is off limits. So log in, like, subscribe, 
get comfy and come in. It's nice to have you here. So let's talk.